I come from a family of 10, five boys, three girls, and five parents. We were quite poor. We used to grow rice. It's about 400 miles from Kuala Lumpur, 20 miles from the Thai border. After high school, I offered to go to do accounting in Australia, New Zealand, and the UK. The first one that came was from New Zealand. I couldn't afford on my own. We, we were too poor to, to go to university. So when uh, the offer from New Zealand to study accounting was offered, I accepted without any hesitation. The first time I traveled on, on a plane. Tan Sri Halim Saad came to New Zealand as a Colombo scholar at Victoria University in 1973. Following his return to Malaysia, he became one of the country's most successful businessmen, heading major projects like the North-South Expressway and Kuala Lumpur International Airport. Most engineers have only one chance to build a mega, mega project in their life. Started at something small, end up something big. But I've been quite lucky. I started with, uh, end up with eight of them. And that, not, for not being an engineer. So I must be quite you know, fortunate. In 1994, Time magazine named Tan Sri Halim as a leader to define the coming age. In 2001, he founded the Markmore Group with investments in oil and gas, mining concessions, property development and shopping malls. Initially when you're young, you know, hungry, it's all about money. But after you build one, you have some money, you want to build more things. And you have this satisfaction that you want to build more things, you know, and create a legacy for yourself. Tan Sri Halim's vision for cooperation between Malaysia and New Zealand extends to business, education, food production and tourism. He is driving a number of initiatives in these areas, including sharing our country's agricultural expertise with the Organisation of Islamic Cooperation, addressing food security concerns and halal market opportunities in developing countries. Food security will be our biggest problem. How do you feel seeing the people? With all this about climate change, a shortage, of shortage of investment, shortage of uh, water, something like that, shortage of land. You know? so, had, so to be more efficient, we would need more of these land species. Tan Sri Halim's business acumen is legendary, and he continues to contribute significantly to both the New Zealand and Malaysian economies. Definitely friendship. I have a lot of friends there. I always enjoy going back to New Zealand. New Zealand to me is like my second home. I'm happy, grateful and honoured to receive this award. New Zealand and uh, this award itself will have special places in my heart.